So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to manage Google Ads account access using the new user experience. You can actually switch between the old design and the new design up here. But if you're using the new layout of Google Ads, which has kind of a lighter background here, some things have definitely moved around and changed a bit. So in order to get to the user access area, you're first going to come over here to the left side under the admin panel. And then when you hover over that, you should see this panel pop up and you'll click on access and security. When you do that, it's going to bring you to this page where you should see yourself most likely as a user in here. And you can see when the last sign in was the level of access, whether it expires, whether they've done two factor authentication. And then over here is where you'll actually remove access. And you can also see when it was added and who they were invited by. Now, this first, there are three tabs up here, which most, most people don't really see right off the bat. And this first tab that it brings you to under access and security, this is actually meant for internal users. And what I mean by that is it's typically going to be people who work within your company. And if you give somebody access to your account at this level, Google sees it as though they work for your company. And if they are uh, managing ads in a different account with the same email and they do something that's a violation of Google ads policies, it can also reflect negatively on your account and get your account suspended as well. So that's the one thing I like to be sure and mention right up front is that there is a security element with having somebody be an actual user on your account. If you want to add somebody to your account without them being able to negatively impact the policies, <laughs> the, you know, whether you're following policies in your account, if you want that to be separate, then you actually need to set somebody up as a manager. So when you come over to the manager account, you'll see that there's nothing really in here. There's no way to add a manager or anything like that. A manager is, is, is uh, accessed through a manager account. They used to call them MCC accounts. Now it's just called a manager account. And those are used for agencies like, like the agency that I have. When we work with a new client, we will request access through our manager account. And our manager account is set up for an agency so that it, it just gives us shell access. And if we're connected to multiple other accounts through our manager account and also get access to your account, it's not going to cause any issues, right? However, most people will just need to add like themselves and maybe their husband or their wife or their partner or their team members from their business. If that's the case and you feel comfortable knowing that the people you're adding are not going to be managing other accounts and having issues with policy violations, then all you need to do is click this blue plus button here, type in the email address of the person that you want to add to your account. You can choose whether you want it to expire at a certain point in time or just be indefinite. And then you can give them specific user role, whether that be email only where they can just get reports or billing where they can just handle the billing information or read only where they can see what's going on in the account but they can't change anything or standard access where they can get in there and change stuff other than adding users and linking stuff and whatnot in which case if you want them to be able to do everything then you would add them as an admin here and then once you've entered the email and selected the user role then you just click send invitation when you do that it's going to send an email to that user and say hey you've been invited to this google ads account then they can go in there and finish accepting the access from there. But again, you have to be a little bit careful because if, let's say, uh, you know, you're working with uh, an agency that wants to manage your Google ads and they want to be added as a user, that can potentially cause some issues if they're doing shady stuff in other accounts. It could potentially get your account suspended. So if you're going to be working with an agency, then come over to the manager tab. Basically, all you do is you give them your Google Ads ID number, which is up here in the top right corner of your Google Ads account. It looks like a phone number. Once you share that information with them, then they can go into their Google Ads Manager account 
and request access, at which point you'll see the request in here and you'll have to accept it under the actions that you can take right here. And then they'll have shell access to your account and they can help you manage your account without causing suspensions and issues like that in terms of other accounts they're managing affecting your account. And then there's this last tab up here, which is security. And if we come over to security, there's a couple of important things to note here. Uh, you have your two-step authentication and ID verification and stuff up here at the top. But there's also this allowed domains. So sometimes when you go to add a user in here, you'll be adding like john at example.com. And it's going to give you an error. It's going to say that's not an allowed domain name. And it's talking about this website domain here. Sometimes you'll be setting up john at gmail.com, for instance. And it'll say that's not an allowed domain name. So if it's giving you that error, basically all you need to do is come over here to the security and add a domain name and put whatever domain name it is that you want people to be able to log in with, whether it's example.com or gmail.com, whatever is at the end of their email address after the at symbol, you would just add that in here, click save, and that's going to allow people to have access you're going to be able to invite them to the account with that domain name. So those are the crucial essentials to access, um, uh, account access in Google Ads. But if there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below. But we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries. And you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue, like this one here. And really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.